guys how are you guys doing it's your girl that black woman here if this is your first time seeing me or coming across my channel you are definitely welcome okay and if you're a returning subscriber please do me a favor by hitting that subscribe button right now okay without wasting your time because i don't have time for yada yada let's just get straight into the video oh yeah there's a kind of danger when my mind starts to wonder for those of you that did not know your girl used to be a model you know i used to be all about that modeling life when i was still in nigeria and the kind of model that i did was not like a runway model but it was a type of model where people felt like i had a very nice facial feature and nice skin and so like i would always model like i would do face model for makeup artists i would do like shoots for photographers and all that kind of stuff so your girl was your girl has been living it up and this was between 2013 and 2015 so um it wasn't like really great back then but it was something and it was bringing in a little bit of shmoney so today i will be reacting to some of the pictures um during my modeling days but let me put out a disclaimer if anybody born of a man or woman think they can come from my contact lenses let me just tell you it's not gonna bother me because i do things the way i like and i like what i do and i do what i please i please what i do so don't even bother because i would delete your comments and nobody will see it okay so let's get straight into this reaction video so this is the first picture and i honestly don't know what i was what i was thinking why was i post like that like oh my god is that a leggings <laughs> who even wear leggings on blouse anymore <laughs> you guys i know the story behind this this was um a shoot done for this photographer in mina and i just they called studio 91 and i used to be one of his top models back in the days and he called me up and said let's collaborate you guys look at my edges my goodness look at my edges i did not even have time to do this this photo is so horrendous the blouse where did i get that blouse from the hair this hair i actually um made while i was in lagos before i traveled back to the north um and i thought i was popping in this hair it was like this kind of weaving hair and the leggings is really putting me off like who wears who even allowed me wear leggings on a blouse and let's not even get into this atrocious heels this heels i actually got from something that we call okrika which is like thrift store in nigeria okrika is like the local thrift store inside of the market and i would go there and pick up shoes and i felt like i was popping so i got this shoes for like really cheap prices and these shoes were ugly god damn it so this is the second photo and <laughs> This shoot was actually done for a lady that was selling abayas. If you don't know what abaya is, this is like the, this thing I'm wearing right now. It's like the long flowy dress. So she had an abaya store and I did this modeling shoot for her. And the quality of these photos are horrible, by the way. The makeup is atrocious. The, the Oh my God. Oh my God. That eyeshadow, it does not even blend. The eyeshadow did not even match the outfit. I had green eyeshadow on blue abaya and let me tell you guys i stole this purse from my mom's closet my mom was out of town and i went and stole her bag just to do this photo shoot the shoes fell apart the minute we finished shooting like that shoe was badly worn not by me but the person that owned the shoe like you know the previous person that owned the shoe because like i said i got the shoes from okrika so the person that owned the shoe before wore the, the hell out of that shoe and that shoe just as soon as we we're done with that shoe the shoe fell apart and i tried to glue it back with super glue but it did not work and yeah so um this was a modeling shoot that i did for a store that was selling a buyer and they actually had this photo in like their brochure and i think they also had this photo like inside the store or something so and, and on their social media at that time so yes <laughs> why did i bone my face like that like who am i fighting oh my god this is my hair by the way this this was actually my hair i had a lot of hair 
and I had a lot of dandruff and I can even see the dandruff in my hair in this photo. Who allowed me to do this? I didn't have earrings. If you know me, you would know that I do not wear earrings. It's not my thing and it's still not my thing. Um, but yeah, I, this photo shoot I actually enjoyed. I enjoyed this photo shoot because we had like six different shoots on that day. So I had to like switch my makeup back to back to back. I was so tired. I think that was why I boned my face. But this is actually not bad. This is an editorial piece. The, the, the eyebrows can do better. But man, I've come a long way. Look at my face. Back then, there was nothing like contouring. Like there was contouring, but it was for the rich people. So, um, yeah. <laughs> I will not forgive my ex-boyfriend that I was dating at this time that allowed me wear this ensemble the shoes the top the bracelet the earrings the makeup everything was atrocious in this photo let me tell you my boyfriend was with me in the studio the guy I was dating at that time his name was Osman he was with me um when I took this photo and he was hyping me up jeez look at my face I look so ugly god yes this was actually another photo this was not a photo shoot for a brand actually this was a photo that i decided to take and give to my boyfriend and this is my own copy that i kept and honestly this photo is very bad the shoes were of course from okrika <laughs> it was from okrika all my shoes used to be from okrika i'm not gonna come in here and lie to you guys but yes the shoes were from the local thrift store at mina modern market if you know me now, you know me now more than my kids or oh, Kasongwari. You know, I said this shoes. <laughs> oh my god, why do I have a plate of wait apple that I chewed? They asked, let me tell you guys, they asked me to chew this apple to make it look like the apple of life. <laughs> and the carrots is looking so raggedy, this carrots are looking so unhealthy. And then that was when this dashiki started raining. I don't even think the dashiki belongs to me. I think it was my mom's dashiki that I stole just to go and do this photo shoot. But this was also a photo shoot for a photographer. And <laughs> no way. What is going on with my leg and my face? The smile, everything. And why was I wearing so much leggings? There was a time in my life where I only wore leggings. I did not wear jeans. And I think it affected me till date. Because even till date, like, I find jeans very uncomfortable. And oh my god. <laughs> what? <laughs> look, just look at the way I'm standing in this photo. Next. Let's, this, I can't, believe it or not, this is me on my high school graduation. Like... This is the only photo I have for my high school graduation. If my children ask me to bring out my high school graduation photo now, this is the only thing I can show them. Like, this is just so sad. This is sad. Why do I have red belt with red earrings and then I have pink bag? The shoes, let me tell you, those shoes, my weight could not sit on those shoes. So as soon as I wore those shoes, they started, you know, stippling aside. Like every time I walk, my legs will do this like it was horrendous it, the wig is atrocious who allowed me wear that wig i think i bought that wig from the market wow and this photo actually was taken on my friend's um birthday we went into um the studio to take photos for her birthday and i was also wearing leggings it's something about me and this leggings and <laughs> I remember that this cardigan that I was wearing, um, it was new and I had to take photo in my new cardigan because why not? And I had a scarf. Obviously, I always had scarves back then. Almost all my photos, I had to wear scarves. And then I wore earrings, which is something that I hated doing. I think I lost that earring right after that photo shoot. My friend actually forced me to wear it. And yeah, so this was a photo shoot for my friend. I still remember this day like it was yesterday. And this is almost like six years or seven years ago. Um, this is actually me just reflecting back to how far I have 
come i have always loved photos i have lo always loved content creating i've always loved being back up in front of the camera and behind the camera so this is just me showing you guys that i have done this for a long time for people that ask me like how was i able to build my fan base at this time i think instagram was just starting and i had an instagram at that time even though it was not that big so yes that's it guys i truly appreciate you guys as always if you have not followed my social media please go ahead and do that if you have also not subscribed to my channel feel free to subscribe and click that bell button to know of every time i post and you guys can see i am feeling this hair like this hair is so good and let me know if you guys want me to start doing hair reviews and you know makeup reviews and all that type of stuff i feel like it's not really my forte but i can do it for you guys so um i love you guys and i'll see you guys in my next one bye